YouTube and welcome to my channel. My name is Jack Hill. So this is just a quick vlog uh, for today because um, I'm a bit short of time today so I'm going to do a couple tomorrow um, and upload them tomorrow night. Uh, well, upload one tomorrow night and then maybe um, another on Friday or over the weekend. So this vlog is about my favourite type of exercise um, and I'm going to call it uh, the most beneficial type of cardio, something like that. I don't know. Why swimming is the best. That, that, there we go. Uh, why swimming is the best cardio. So, um, I'm, I'm just going to claim there's five reasons. <laughs> so now I'm going to have to think of five reasons. Uh, okay, so um, reason number one. Um, it's accessible to every age, uh, including every level of fitness. Now, um, you might think, whoa, no it's not, that's crazy, not everyone can swim, but everyone can float. If you can't float, then you're a brick. <laughs> everyone can float. Um, well, you might not actually think you have the ability, you might be like, ah, oh, no, I, can't, I really can't do it, I struggle. Uh, but if you were unconscious, you would float, i.e. all bodies float. Uh, so everyone can participate in this. Uh, not only all age groups, but like I said, all fitness levels. I'm counting that as a second point. <laughs> all fitness levels can can do it as well. So, um, like, I'm reasonably fit. You could put a guy who's like 400 pounds next to me in the swimming pool, um, and uh, he'd he'd get on fine. He could swim. He could do lengths. Um, he could do something. You know, he could do some level of exercise for himself. Um, third reason is because it's low impact yes so uh running walking uh jumping uh cycling isn't re cycling is reasonably low impact um but it still takes a toll on your muscle uh, on your bones way more than swimming does so why is that an advantage i hear you ask well i'll tell you <laughs> Um, so, no impact on your bones is an advantage because uh, for anyone who's ever been in the military out there or anyone who's done incredibly heavy jobs, uh, the more time that you spend um, sort of bouncing on your spine and testing the, its ability to keep you upright, i.e. by all the time carrying heavy things, like in the army you have to carry big heavy packs all of the time, big heavy weapons. My dad was an M60 gunner um, in the Marines and he had to carry lots of ammunition, a big heavy gun, and then all the other normal equipment. And after a while, what can happen is you get severe joint problems, firstly, but uh, you can actually get something called a compacted spine. Uh, I had this a long time ago, a little, well, a minor version of it. I started to get it because when I was doing marquee work, uh, carrying lots of big trusses and structural things around, steel things around. I found it really fun. Um, but I, my spine was very slowly getting compacted. I wonder if it was getting shorter. I don't know. Um, so, that, that's one of the main advantages. And over time, you can actually look at studies comparing the health levels of swimmers over a long period of time as compared to walkers and runners. And swimmers have a ridiculous um, increase in longevity as compared to the other two for how long they can stay healthy, active, and the actual um, life expectancy difference. Um, and in a way, that's because of how your body responds to lots and lots and lots of heavy impact work. If you, I'm, I'm not certain about this. This is just a bit of studies that I've read, but I'm just going to throw it out there. Um, huge amounts of overrunning can can cause you damage uh to, to your bones um and in later in life um whereas swimming there is almost no links to any risks whatsoever obviously besides drowning um but uh it, it's relatively safe uh, they have lifeguards there for one you never have a run guard do you there's no run guards around <laughs> I'm going to have that as point four. There's no run guards or walk guards or bike guards around, but there are lifeguards. <laughs> I'm going to call them swimming guard guards because that makes more sense. Um, so, uh, so now I have to think of one more reason why it's really fun. Um, it, I still think... Oh, here's one, here's one, got one. So uh, there's a huge amount of data now uh, it's to do with Wim Hof as well, the Iceman uh, from Holland, one of my favourite people ever. Um, he is now doing a lot of studies into the association of holding your breath 
and cold water, i.e. cold conditioning, and the benefits on, um, on humans. Uh, and it's supposed to be incredibly beneficial. There's a lot of studies going into it now, but um, he's broken a lot of science with, with some of the things that he's done. Um, and uh, some pills, like the pill I go to, is really cold. Um, and holding your breath throughout as well uh, has, has big benefits to it. So you get an increased lung capacity. Um, but there are also all these other associated Wim Hof benefits um, for, for cold conditioning. For one, your, your actual ability to regulate your temperature changes. Um, and you start to perceive temperature in a different way. I.e. when you go outside, uh, you can deal with what changes in weather conditions better once you cold condition yourself to a sufficient level. Um, so there you go. There's five reasons why uh, swimming is the best cardio. I might call it that after all of this. <laughs> uh, so yeah, like I said, um, I'll do some more videos uh, tomorrow and this week and get them up as soon as I can. Um, but I love you all and I just wanted to say hello and I'm having a great week. I hope you're all having a fantastic week. I know the weather's a bit poo, um, but hey ho, it's England. Uh, for everyone else who's not in England, have a fantastico week. I don't know why I kept you saying fantastico. Uh, so yeah, subscribes, welcome, shares, always welcome uh, on anything you want. If you want to share this with your friends, uh, share this with your personal trainer friends who will all go, no, no, that's completely wrong. My brother's um, a a trained as a physiotherapist, uh, or sports scientist, I forget which. Um, so he'll probably, you know, phone me up going, oh, that's all nonsense. But I don't care, this is just my opinions. I'm not, I'm not claiming to be a scientist. These are just some opinions and things I've sourced and theories I've heard. Go and look it up if you're really that concerned. Um, <laughs> but swimming is very beneficial for you. <laughs> okay, subscribe to comments uh, and thumbs up, I really appreciate. And follow me at AVP Studios 09 for t on Twitter for a more open dialogue. I can't speak. And follow me on Instagram, which is, I keep getting this wrong, <laughs> I think it's Jack underscore prison. Yes. Um, if you want to see me prattling around, beatboxing, rapping, and just what I do through the day. Um, but otherwise, I'll catch you all on the flip side. Love you all. Bye. <laughs>